Hey, everybody, welcome back to another edition of Silver and Black Today. I'm your host, Scott Branson, here to dissect the whirlwind of free agency signings over the weekend, including big moves by Chris Jones, Russell Wilson, Baker Mayfield, and others. More importantly, we're zeroing in on how this and these signings are shaping the future of the Raiders. The message coming out of Vegas has been loud and clear so far, and that is the quarterback search is on. Pierce said he didn't want a Band-Aid at the position, and sure enough, uh, they haven't done that yet. So first up, let's talk about the sort of seismic shifts we've seen in free agency. Of course, the tampering period begins today. Some of the other roster moves that kick off this tampering period, in addition to Jones and Wilson, of course, were Mac Jones. Yes, Mac Jones getting traded to the Jaguars, and Bill's offensive tackle Ryan Bates traded to the Bears for a fifth-round pick this year. So, yeah, you think they're taking Caleb Williams? I do. Uh, but the Raiders, well, they've been notably quiet so far. It's early, and it is uh, some, one of those situations where you just don't know when it'll change. But instead of entering that kind of high-stakes bidding war so far, the Raiders, under Tom Telesco and Antonio Pierce, seem to have their sights set elsewhere. We'll see. When it comes to the quarterback position, clearly they're focused elsewhere, not in the big free agent market, while discussions of Mayfield and Wilson – in silver and black were bandied about. That's clearly not where the Raiders' heads are. While many have doubts, it appears the Raiders have thrown their support behind Aiden O'Connell perhaps more than we thought. Critics abound, and, and you guys know, I'll admit, I'm not sold on O'Connell being the franchise quarterback for the next decade, but if Telesco, Pierce, and the Raiders' brain trust see something we don't, then perhaps they're straying, or I should say they're not straying, from their plan uh, is, is my thoughts there. So this approach, uh, I think, speaks volumes, really, about the faith they have in O'Connell and the draft strategy so far, right? I mean, that's all you can kind of get from that. But I contend they still need another veteran quarterback for that quarterback room, right? The free agency class isn't a strong one at quarterback with really, I mean, who's left? Gardner Minshew, Jacoby Brissett, Ryan Tannehill, that's who's available. Still, if you're going to draft a young quarterback, having another veteran to compete and perhaps be a viable backup, I think is important. We saw that this year with all the quarterback injuries. I think you need to be able to do that. With free agency frenzy in full swing, what does it mean for the Raiders come draft day? That's the big question out there now. The decision to pass on the big names like Kirk Cousins and the apparent investment in O'Connell, to me, suggests one thing. The Raiders are eyeing that quarterback talent in the draft, but not just any quarterback, of course, they're looking for someone who can compliment O'Connell or perhaps challenge him. As, as Pierce has said, going in, he's the starter. So you're going to have to beat out Aiden O'Connell, which is something both my co-host Momoten and I have said should be their top priority, of course, at quarterback. The draft is loaded with quarterback talent this year. Some of you like some of them. Some of you don't. That's the way it goes. With the Raiders' current stance, it's clear they're scouting for a gem and who they like out there. But who is it? That remains the million-dollar question. They don't sit uh, in the best spot to be in play on one of the top four quarterbacks since they're slotted in that number 13 spot in the first round. If they're unable, in my view, to trade up into that top five, what do they do? Only Telesco and Pierce know, but we do know that the Raiders' actions and free agency so far have set the stage, I think, for a draft day that could be really unpredictable and exciting. Now, you might be disappointed so far, but... It's early, folks, uh, but let's not get too caught up in that quarterback conversation. Yes, I know we make a big deal out of it here on the show, and you should because you need that quarterback, but the Raiders' actions or inactions so far, especially a quarterback, might have some fans scratching their heads, but it's all part of a larger strategy in my view, and I think this is important to Lesko and Pierce. Again, I keep saying are playing chess, not checkers, and while we're focused on quarterback— do not be surprised if the Raiders make a splash in other areas before free agency is over. We know of the needs on the offensive line. And of course, uh, we got news over the weekend. They're re-signing center Andre James, which is a good move. And they also are eyeing ways to bolster both their defensive front and the back end of that defense. So they could be big players in the next few days. I mean, they could really surprise us with some of the names out there. We'll see. Uh, what happens clearly over the next few days. Their silence on quarterback, though, and 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 their public support of O'Connell really over the last uh, several weeks might be just a smokescreen before the fire, right? The Raiders have been known for their dramatic flair over the years, and, you know, Antonio Pierce, he's a fierce competitor. This offseason might just be another 
chapter in that saga. So we'll see how it goes. But just wanted to hop on and talk to you guys, too, uh, because I think one thing is clear. The Raiders are sticking to their guns come hell or high water. Their faith in O'Connell, the strategic pass on high-profile free agents at the position so far, and looming draft day, it's all painting a picture of a franchise confident in its direction, which is great, even if it leaves the rest of us in suspense. Uh, but again, then again, it's early in the free agency period. It's only the tampering period. Of course, the league year starts later in the week. So perhaps the Raiders won't be so quiet. We'll see. And I know the suspense will be killing everybody in Raider Nation. But one thing is certain, I think people seem excited about the direction of the organization under its new management, both on and off the field. So there you have it. Silver and black today on this Monday, the first day of the legal NFL tampering period. We'll be back with a full show soon or as news breaks. So we're going to we're going to be flexible because we want to get on and talk to you about anything the Raiders may do. And who knows the next 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, a lot of stuff could come down. So we're going to see what happens there. But we'll we'll continue to follow it. And hey, look, the Raiders are doing what they want to do. And uh, we'll see. I mean, I wasn't expecting them. The Russell Wilson story I did up on Sports Not was not a a advocating for them to sign. I just thought it might be something they'd explore, but clearly that was a one way deal. The Raiders may have had some interest there, but Russell Wilson, of course, signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's going to be a roller coaster ride this whole offseason, in my view. So we'll see how it all ends up for the Raiders, but we will have you covered here. Make sure you do us a favor if you don't already subscribe to the podcast, wherever you get your audio, please do that. Just check it out. Check out Silver and Black today, and you'll be able to. Uh, subscribe wherever you get your audio. Also, if you're watching us on YouTube, uh, or if you're not watching us on YouTube, go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yes, our YouTube channel. Great chat always when we have our shows on. So go do that. Hit that notifications bell. That's very important. It's not just enough to subscribe. You got to hit the notifications bell. That way, you know when there's a new video, you get notified directly so you can come in and jump in with the rest of Raider Nation and have a discussion with us. Tell us we're right. Tell us we're wrong. Lots of folks love to tell us when we're wrong. Uh, or that uh, that we're idiots, you know, which is, you know, it's fine. Go ahead. Uh, I don't care. But do that. Also, give us a thumbs up when you're there. We would appreciate that as well. It's always, always welcome. And uh, we appreciate your feedback. And it's great discussion always on the YouTube page. So do that. We'll see what happens the rest of today on Monday. But then as we get into the rest of the week, what will the Raiders do? What will they be active in? What will they not be active in? All fascinating stuff. We, we have no idea yet, but with news breaking by the minute, you know something will go down. I think the Raiders will make some signings here in addition to, of course, they did also sign Amir Abdullah. We talked about that uh, over the weekend, so we'll see how that all rolls out. But the Raiders, they'll be players. It's just where will they be players? Very interesting over the next 24 to 48 hours. All right, folks, we appreciate you being with us here on this Monday for the short edition of Silver and Black today. Mo and I will be back shortly with a full episode, including the Raider Nation mailbag. Leave us a voicemail. Tell us what you think, what's going on with the Raiders. 702-900-7869. That's 702-900-7869. That's the number to get involved. You can also email us. We like the voicemails a lot better. Easier for you, too. You just call, leave the message on the machine, and that's it. Try to keep it as pithy as possible. We love your messages. Try not to go three minutes. That's a long message for somebody to listen to when they're watching the show or listening to the show. So try to keep it to about a minute and a half or two minutes or less. Leave your name, where you're calling from, and then, of course, your question or comment. That's 702 900 7869. is the Raider Nation mailbag number. For our producer, Mike Robbie, a for my co-host, Momo, and I have Scott Colbranson. We will talk to you guys this week as the Raiders make some moves or as they don't make some moves. Either way, we're going to be here to talk about it with Raider Nation. Until then, thanks for being with us, and we'll talk to you next time.